G'day everyone. Cookies Garden Rescue here again. I've had a few messages on Facebook just wondering how I lost my tooth. <laughs> well, about 10 years ago, I was over in Western Australia. Stayed there doing a business adventure. Salt that off, it's all gone. But I thought, ah, oh, well, I'll hit the gym. You know, I was 110 kilos back then. Anyway, I got myself down to 75. And I thought, oh, I might do some martial arts, you know? Yeah, I ended up going to this uh, gym, um, an MMA type gym. And uh, first time I walked in there, there was a guy teaching Muay Thai. So I thought, well, why not? I'll um, see how it goes. Anyway, I got my first lesson for free, and I loved it. I um, was doing that for three days a week. And uh, after nine months, the guy teaching me said, oh, would you like to have a bout? I said, oh, <laughs> okay, I'll have a shot. He said, I don't normally let people have bouts, but I was such a type of student that learnt, listened, and used what I learnt. So, comes to the day where the bout's happening, and uh, opposite me was this guy, probably about 20 years younger, I was 40, he was about 20. Uh, he's been doing it for 18 months, a year and a half. I said, yeah, okay, I'll have a bout. Anyway, yeah, he had the gear on, the mouth guard, all that sort of garbage. And uh, it went. Long story short, I won that bout in a minute 12. Um, yeah, <laughs> I did a spinning elbow hit to the poor bloke and actually knocked him out. So that was it, you know, and I thought, oh, geez, you know, I didn't really pick up a sweat in this one. Anyway, all the praises, the old pats on the backs from everyone, all that sort of shit. And uh, another three months go past. And he said, oh, there's another bloke here that wants to mm, have a bout, you know, are you interested in having another one? Yeah, yeah, okay. The day comes, I get up there, I jump on the in the ring. I haven't seen this bloke yet. And this bloke comes running out like, you know, Rocky, you know, coming down towards the ring. And he was built like a brick, you know, shit ass. And I'm thinking, holy crap, what have I got myself into? Anyway, we go, we go in and he's just going, mm, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Mate, I thought this was a friendly bout, you know. But uh, he was six foot and I'm six one and a bit, you know. Uh, he's a hundred kilos and I'm thinking this is a bit unfair and he's just you know, all these muscles. And I'm thinking, oh Christ. And uh, the guy that was coaching me comes up and he says, this guy's a hothead, he'll come running straight at you. I said, okay, mate. He said, you know how to fight these hotheads. You know, I've shown you. You use them, you use them, you wear out some of their stamina. So that was it. And um, these are three-minute bouts, three three rounds. And uh, the first round comes through, and we get to the end. And I've knocked him around a bit, and he's starting to bleed. He's got a cut underneath the eye. Anyway, they're fixing him up, fixing him up. And the... Um, Teak guy teaching me comes up and says, Do you know they call off the fights here if uh, an opponent's bleeding too much? So, okay, I'll keep that in mind. See if I can open it up maybe on both cheeks. Well, it's gone ding, we've gone out. He's come running at me again and I've just sidestepped him. And uh, he got a bloody good shot in, didn't he? He got me right on the chin with my mouth guard. And all of a sudden, I could taste blood all the time. I'm just thinking in my head, oh shit, I can't have blood pouring out. Oh no, he's gonna call the bout off. And I just kept swallowing it, you know. It sort of made me angry as well, but I was trying to focus that anger on him. 
Anyway, I got an elbow to the other eye. And he'd opened up the other cheek. And meanwhile, we're bouting, and you know, I've opened it all up again, and he's got blood just pouring down. Anyway, two minutes, 30 seconds in the second round. Two refs just called the fight off because my opponent was bleeding too much. And he's trying to get around the ref, trying to get me, you know, and I'm, I'm just there, and I've got a grin on my face. And I still got my tooth, you know, I still got my tooth. Anyway, we get there, and he's done some shit inside my gum, you know, so it stopped the bleeding. But anyway, a couple of days later, it's starting to get a bit sore, you know. So... The guys down at the gym said, Oh, wash your mouth out with salt. You know, it'll kill everything. It'll be right. So I do that. And holy shit, the pain. Oh, wow. Uh, you wouldn't believe. Another week goes past. And me gum got infected. Couldn't believe it. Gone to the doctors. Had all these antibiotics. And it wore some of my gum away. The, uh, you know, the infection just chewed some of my gum away. And then I realised, holy shit, my tooth's a bit loose, you know. Go to the dentist. Ah, oh, it'll be right, it'll harden up, should be right, you know, just keep brushing them hard. You, you'll be right. It keeps going, it keeps going, and me, the infection sort of stopped, but my gum just kept disappearing. Anyway, five years later, my tooth come out. I'm going, oh. Christ, you know, I'm going to be gummy. Nothing wrong with that, people, you know, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to have some dentures put in. <sighs> Till I get how much it bloody costs. So I thought, forget that, you know. I'll live with one tooth missing. And I'll say, I was a fighter, and I lost a tooth in about, you know. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't worry me. And it won't worry you either. Because gardening's gardening for all sorts of walks of life. But, uh, now I think back, I wish I never did Muay Thai, you know. I'd have me tooth, I wouldn't, you know, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, shit happens. Just thought I'd let you in on it, and so I had that uh, question on Facebook. But there you go. It's cool. Okay, I lisp a little bit more now. <laughs> but, hey. Who cares? Not me. Yeah, alright. Till next time. Cookies Garden Rescue shall return. Bye for now.